Okay, my question is, I'm glad those two persons came and talk about mostly their purpose in life, because it's about that. It's, um, I know we came to this war because we wanted the experience. And, uh, we wanted, a good experience. You yes. wanted a good experience. Let's get yes. that in there. You wanted a, a good, good experience. experience. You wanted a good feeling experience. Yes. And we knew that we could do everything that we wanted to do. You knew that life would inspire yes. you and that you could do it. Now, I also heard that you said that we all come with a purpose. So what happens when... Well, yes, there is a trajectory, but don't try to make it specific. Let it be this general trajectory of I came to know who I am I came for that feeling of homecoming I came to revel with others I came to have a really good time I came to feel inspired I came to understand my guidance I came to feel negative emotion I came to feel positive emotion I came to predominantly remember who I am I came for the joy of expansion I came for the interest of life yes yeah and I understand all of that yeah maybe is the reason that I think too much that I need to find a purpose to everything and well, include those in are this not life. purposes enough probably not having then. a really good time isn't purposeful enough well I guess the, my purpose uh, what Being I mean with joyful purpose, isn't purposeful enough but probably my, my, my point of view on purpose is impact and in helping other people yeah well that's where it goes screwy every single time making myself useful as I am perceived by others takes you outside of anything that you can do anything about well for instance I've been learning a lot of what you teach and I've experienced it and it feels so good that I want to go out and teach it to my family and sometimes they're not open to it and they don't even understand what I'm saying but I'm also from the point of view of a career what if uh, those people um, that know and they feel they need to do something and uh, they just shut down and they don't want to do it so they miss their purpose in life well here's what you're describing a lot of people take action before they've found the alignment and then it never goes well then it's hard then they get discouraged then they quit mm -hmm. where if you find alignment first and then follow the inspiration that is spawned from that alignment then it's a comfortable unfolding every step along the way it just gets better and better and better and better and better but well, the most significant thing in fulfilling your own purpose is that it has to be selfishly inspired which means you have to do it for the way it makes you feel not for the effect that it has on others because you can't control the effect that it has on others because they're in all kinds of different vibrational places you could be the most brilliant teacher in the world like us <laughs> and there are still those who can't hear because they're not in the vibrational vicinity so we just annoy them and if you think your purpose is to be able to be received by everyone then you're not understanding law of attraction or free will or freedom or you're not honoring everybody else's desire to create their own reality you see so um that was a good piece of business right there <laughs> well i feel that um for a long time i couldn't see my purpose in this life can't see it but you can feel it well I can feel it either well, I was well but see it's like our friend earlier we don't want you to explain your liabilities if you understand now then don't talk about a time that you didn't understand in other words what you know now talk from the perspective of what you now know don't you know didn't you say I know that I can be or do or have anything that I choose don't you know that yeah. don't those words feel better yes but then I go back to reality <laughs> like I, I know I know it's not <laughs> they're like an auditory guidance system Ooh. <laughs> well that didn't feel good to them when you said that I know I heard that <laughs> it's just that I probably thinking too much yeah for that, sure uh, <laughs> for sure but you see you can't slow your thinking down when there's momentum so what you do is you just look for an easier time to slow it down and then just start easier we know we keep looping back around to this but 
as we have a conversation when you've decided that it's hard and we know that it isn't we can't even have a conversation mm -hmm. because we say it's easy and you say it's hard and we say it's easy and you say it's hard and we say it's easy and you say it's hard and then we just run out of time <laughs> and so we want to say these things we know these things we know about you we know that you came into this physical experience with a very strong trajectory of purpose you are a teacher to the very core of your being you love physical life experience you love all of the trappings of physical life experience you like the feeling of progress that physical gives you you like the feeling of momentum that physical gives you you like the feeling of moving spatially from one place to another in other words you love the atmosphere on your skin you love food upon your tongue you love all of the physical experiences being physically focused in a physical body in sync with source energy there just isn't anything that feels better than that you came with great purpose but the thing that we want you to understand is that the purpose of life is joy the result of it is expansion you just can't help but expand the basis of it is absolute freedom because you're so free that you can choose any thought to think that you want to think you're so free you can choose bondage but the basis of your life is freedom and the result of life is going to be expansion which is what you want to call real purpose but your purpose what you came for is for the joy it's for the joy of raising your hand and getting called on it's for the joy of winking at someone Esther has got this Spurs vibe going she's so excited about it because she's enjoying the Spurs games and the other day she was at the mall and coach Popovich was walking through and she saw him and gave him a thumbs up and a little bit of applause and he waved from a distance and she thought I've got the Spurs vibe going on and then a few days later she was in a little coffee house in downtown San Antonio and there was another one and she's waving from a distance she doesn't want to make a big deal out of it just wants him to know I like you I like what you do and then day before yesterday in another mall she spends quite a bit of time in malls <laughs> she saw another one of the Spurs players and she's thinking law of attraction is matching me up with things that are important to me things that I feel appreciation about now you would have thought that more had happened nothing happened it was just I like you I like you that's all I like you but more than that is the universe brought you up close where I can tell you that I like you the universe has brought you where I can express to you with more than my appreciation of vibration I can give you a thumbs up thumbs up and a wink that's really good appreciation so what we're getting at is not anything to write home about they wouldn't be able to pick her out of a lineup in other words there's no relationship that is now established between Esther and the Spurs team it's just evidence the universal evidence that what's active in your vibration is coming into your experience and when those obvious things come then there are more and more and more obvious things coming yes yes evidence everywhere of what's going on in your vibration you couldn't be more loved you couldn't be more adored you couldn't be more cared for you couldn't be more looked after there could not be more awareness of you you couldn't be in better hands you couldn't be in better standing you couldn't be more appreciated than you are but you've got to practice knowing it you see and it isn't until you create a vibrational environment on purpose and then watch the results of it that you will take ownership over what your role is in the creating of your life experience because if you're just running into people here and there Esther understands completely that it is her attention to those lovely men there's no question in her mind that her appreciation is bringing a steady stream of them into her experience well in the last two years I've had a lot of uh, improvement in the sense of paying attention how I feel and I've had a, a lot of evidence of how I'm attracting very good positive things in my life it's just that for some reason in the purpose area that I kind of get stuck okay. so here it is the purpose is feel good and watch what happens 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 feel good it's gonna take a while and watch what happens feel good and watch what happens feel good and watch what happens and then it shifts a little and you not only feel good you say I'm good and watch what happens 
I'm good and watch what happens I'm so blessed and watch what happens life is so good for me and watch what happens I'm tuned in tapped in turned on watch what happens I can be or do or have anything that I choose and watch what happens I've come with purpose and watch what happens I'll figure it out and watch what happens you weren't born with an assignment to go there and do that you came with an intention of it steadily unfolding you'll never fulfill your purpose you will never be without purpose it will keep expanding step four step five step six step seven never an ending never an ending to life saying well you like that and you feel good here and now the momentum's going more is being asked for by you you see humans think that it's got to be good bad good bad good bad good bad good bad so you get tired so you go from your tongue hanging out to being bored from your tongue hanging out to being bored and that's not what you intended you said I'll go forth and life will inspire me and I'll figure out how to get in sync with it and then life will deliver it to me and I will devour it in all of its delicious aspects and along with that will come a new awareness of what could be more you see it's you weren't born with a purpose that is supposed to sustain you forevermore you were born into a purposeful life that will keep presenting its new purpose to you now and 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 now sometimes it's exchanging glances with someone who who is famous sometimes it's nodding to somebody who doesn't feel good about themselves it's endless but when you are in sync then your purpose is obvious to you every step along the way and oh when you're moving through life like that talk about security talk about clarity talk about love talk about knowing who you are and what you're all about and why you were born you were born for this meaningful moment and this one and this one and this one and this one never ending stream of meaningful moments you're not ever going to run out of meaningful moments you see and after a while you'll just you'll just feel that it doesn't even matter in what way delicious life presents itself to you whether it's looking out Esther couldn't believe it she, she looked out the window this morning the way the light was shining on the mountains she could not believe Phoenix has never looked more beautiful to her than it did today today she lived here for a long time today it was at its all-time most beautiful because she was at her all-time most able to see the beauty in it you see what we're getting at mm -hmm. and that's the way friends are they become more beautiful it's the way love is it becomes fuller It's food tastes better and better and better everything is better your body feels better your vitality increases it doesn't decrease your your memory becomes expansive your ability to move through life becomes precision no declining just expansion all the time that's who you are purpose 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 well I'm glad I came here because the way that you helped me shift the purpose instead of seeing it like a fixed word or something fixed I just in the last minute I just thought you are the creator of your purpose purpose is alive purpose is alive expanding it's ever moving fixed. organic good Thank it you. is good. Thank you.